What's up, y'all? Lizzie. Isa. I forgot my name. Sorry. <laughs> this is my husband, Isa, and we are doing story time on how we first met. Let's watch. Roll now. Roll now. <laughs> Y'all, this is my very first time doing this. Um, I've never even done a video like this before. And honestly, before getting on YouTube, I've never even heard of it. I don't even know what it is, but I'm diving right in because that's what you do on YouTube. You explore, you dive in, and I'm excited to do it. I'm going to do my very first story time today. And as you know, many of you as well are probably at home on quarantine. Quarantine and chill is the hashtag, I guess, that people are doing. Stay home, stay safe, which is really important. Um, and I really hope everybody out there is doing it as well. Really trying to um, kick this pandemic, right? So I thought since we were all at home and we always get, I always get to ask this question the most. Um, you're just getting to know me if you are, and I'm Lizzie. Um, but I've been married to my husband for 15 years. I know, that is a crazy long time. Actually, no, wait a minute, take that back. We've been married for 10 years. We've been together for 15 years. That's what 10 years of marriage will get you though. It makes you feel like you've been married for 15 years. We have three kids um, and it just feels like a lifetime. Like the other day he said something to me which caught me so off guard. He was like, he was talking to my oldest and he was like, yeah, me and mommy have been in each other's lives almost as long as mommy lived with her mommy. That's crazy, right? Like we've been living with each other almost as long as I lived in the house with my mama. That's cray, mind blowing cray. Anyway, so we always get asked the question of how do how do we meet? You know, tips and tricks on being married, which we're probably not going to get into all that. But um, how we meet, how we met, is like a really big thing that we always get asked, and a lot of our single friends are always like. Yo, how did y'all sustain it? How did you know you he was the one? How did he know you were the one? Like what all that was. So for story time today, I thought it'd be very exciting to um, have my husband, Issa, my superstar, my king, my dude, my best friend come in and share the story with me of how we met. All right, swipe cut, Issa. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> I just walked in. It was so good. I mean, I've been standing there the whole time. So, what's up? I've been so, waiting for my intro. Okay, first of all, yeah. why are we both in sweatshirts? We're at the house. We're comfortable. This is what we do, though. Like yes. that's what yes. that's what uh, fifteen years of being together will get you. We wake up and like we get inspiration from each other. We be like, "Oh, you putting that on? Oh, I'm gonna put on the same thing." Hundred percent. Hundred percent. We be like, "Look, he got it on. I'm gonna get on. He look comfortable. I'm gonna be comfortable too." Um. Okay. So. I'm excited because I think our story is actually one for the ages. One of our favorite well, Everybody movies, thinks their story is one for the ages, by the way. I mean, not everybody, because let me tell you, I know some girls whose story is not one for the ages, and they will let you know that we met in the club, and then that was that. We met in a... Hey, hey, we ain't there yet. Er, er, we not there yet. <laughs> um, but anyway, I feel like one of our favorite movies when we were dating and still to this day is... It's going to feel so like... If know. you don't know this... You should be able to read my thoughts. I don't know what our favorite movie is. I know what my favorite movie is. 15 years when we were dating, what our favorite movie was? I don't know. Oh my God. When I say this, if you do not know, <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. This I'm is thinking. Like, this I'm is thinking. Like, hey, okay, I'm going to think. This is like, yo, Let yo, baby, think. what's your favorite food? After 15 years, you should know what my favorite food I'm is. I'm on the spot. That's why. That's why I don't got it. Because I'm on the spot. Let me oh think. Oh my God. Okay. The Bridges of Madison County. No. Oh, that oh, that's is yours. <laughs> no, the that's, notebook. The notebook, but Dude, I don't know if that. It's uh, not, but it, when we were dating, nah, though, it was not. one of our favorites, though, because we when always we dating, thought yeah. that we would, like, literally, we had that same, like, we would have a story like that of the ages, and yes. that would be this whole thing. Anyway. Yeah. I live in when, fairy tales. When he, he, yes. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. When you hear our story, you'll understand why I said the notebook. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like the same or nothing. No, it's not the same at all. Actually, not at all. It's no. the black version. It's the urban yeah. version. She didn't of the leave notebook. me. Didn't come back. I didn't have. There's I wasn't about to get married. Nothing the same There's, about it. There's nothing. Except for the fact that they wanted to die together. That's it. Yeah, that's the only like, thing I do want. Like, if she, listen, I don't even want to talk about it. 
like one of us dies, I literally need the other person to be right Can behind us. Talk about this during I'm Corona sorry. time. She's afraid I to mean, talk about that. I'm, like, I'm not afraid of it, but I do feel like I feel like it's almost. I feel like I feel like the power of your words is a manifest manifestation of thought. The power of preparation is even better. I mean, I just like to be prepped for everything. I understand, but it's I feel like the prep. power of your words are everything. So when I talk it's about it, prep. sometimes I feel like, wait I'm a minute. doomsday prepper. Yeah, like, but I feel like, is this doomsday? Like, stop talking to me about it. It's because not doomsday. I'm afraid to, like, speak it, and then it comes into reality. Hey, whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. Oh. It's already playing out anyway. I mean, it is. It is. You Look, know, it's, it's all, you give anyway. it to God, you let it go. Exactly. I get it. So exactly. that's why we don't need to talk about it then. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank Beep. you. Weakness. All right. Okay. So, so I walked in. I walked in. She looked at me, <laughs> and, and she was like, like, "Oh my god." Oh no. All right. So, um, so this is how it started. So Issa and I, we, uh, I'm originally from Detroit. Whoop whoop. Detroit. He's originally from Alabama, Birmingham. Where you at? Down south, um, baby. Down south. So that. he always calls me a northerner, and I always call him a southerner. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where that comes from. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so that's where you're from. So I went to school in Chicago. He went to school in Nashville. And um, around started this... at school in Alabama. Sorry. Sorry, she doesn't know me that well. I mean, started school in Alabama. But you went to. Then school... I finished my uh, Why second you half tell of school. The, the first and the second. It's like it doesn't matter. It's where you ended. Well, it's not where you began. That's a part of who I am. Oh my god! I just mean with the two schools. Two. It's okay. like you rep. I rep everybody. Oh my god! Anyway. Go Back to the story. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we both moved to New York around the same time. And while we were in New York, um, we both came to model. Mm -hmm. So, we were both models in New York. Uh, and so, we were both living whatever that life was. That model New York life. <laughs> oh, my God. It feels like ages ago. Can I get a job? Oh, my God. Do um, you like me? We were so no. young. That's when Do you're you like young me? and you're naive and literally we were sleeping on couches and like, you know, when we first got there, we grinded, like we grinded mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. Like that's what, that's what it was about. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we were living that New York life. Um, so we were both living in New York and neither one of us, I don't, well, let me speak for myself. I was the type of girl where I didn't really go out a whole bunch. I was mm -hmm. living in New York. I was a model. So I worked a lot and I traveled a lot. Um, so when I was in New York and when I was home and when I was free and time was to myself, I just really like to chill. I like to chill with my girlfriends. I like to be home watching movies, uh, drinking wine. Like I was just totally like in my own zone. I really loved that, um, mm -hmm. uh, that time. So I really didn't go out a whole bunch, but this one night, my girlfriend was like, let's go out. Actually, hold on. Rewind, rewind. There was a week that um, I was working. So I was working one day and I was doing this job. Ooh, this story is long. So I was doing this job. This no, is no, what no. I was doing this job and um, I was on set and he walked in. But he was he he walked in and the producer on the set was his roommate at the time. And they're, Shout they're out best Trina friends. Morris. Best friends. And so she was on the set. And um, he came in to say what's up to her because he had just got back in town from a job mm -hmm. out of town. Yep. So he came in just to say what's up with her real quick, stop by the set. And people in New York do that all the time. You always stop in the sets. It's no big deal. It's nothing, right? So he stopped into the set to say what's up with her. We might have said hi. Like, I don't even remember a conversation. We might have just been mm -hmm. like, hey, hey. Like, what's up? Oh, hi, hi. Pause. My roommate was producing the whole shoot. And uh, I saw her picture. A week before that this is how like stuff happens so i saw her picture before that i looked at the picture didn't even think twice about it i was like oh okay that's cool yeah pick her whatever we like she looked good oh oh you so helped forward me get the job. no i didn't help you get the job oh, but i'm just yeah, I'm you know you act like you help so anyway back to her story forward <laughs> okay so back forward. at the photo shoot so anyway we're at the photo shoot we say hi really quick and then that's it nothing. he leaves i go back on to my job nothing not even a memory not fast a forward memory. A week later, almost to the day, I'm hanging out with at home with my roommate, who's one of my very best friends, even to this day. What's up, Julie? Where you at? Um, and she was like, let's go out because um, another friend of ours was like, yeah, I'm going out to this party, to this birthday party, uh, little ex's birthday party. 
So we go to the party. We get all dolled up. You know what I mean? We put on our cute little outfits. We got our hair and makeup and we go. Uh, so we go to the party and we're there. We're hanging out, we're chilling, we're having a drink and it's cool. So it was a good vibe. Everybody's having a good time. We were drinking and we were over into like, you know, our little, our little spot and we're just talking because mm -hmm. that's what we do. You know, girls get to the party and they just kind of talk and they huddle. Anyway, Issa walks in and he walks right past me. But before he walks past me, I'm like, hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Because I couldn't place it. He looked familiar and I am a very talkative person. So as you like, can see, <laughs> I haven't said two words. I was like, hey, don't, don't I know you from somewhere? And he was like, yeah, maybe. And kept walking. It was more like, yeah, maybe. Why you want to talk to me? Hey, hey. Now y'all may not know me like that, but notice I was like, oh, okay, 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 hi. Um. So anyway, I was like, okay, that's cool. Okay, he and his thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. He need to go check out the scene, whatever. You know, whatever. When you first walk in, you know, you gotta like, you the first person I see. So you walk in, you know, you single, you gotta like look around first. You know, just and that's take where dudes, one lap. That's where dudes get one lap messed up. I had to. I had to hold my tongue. That's where dudes get messed up. Anyway, one lap. I was finished talking to my girls. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I continue to talk to my girls. We talking. And then, like, I don't know, like 30 minutes later, I feel these eyes on me. Just like that. See how he doing it right now? But across the room, <laughs> I feel these eyes on me, man. I mean, they like burning my soul. I'm like, God dang. So, <laughs> eyes is on me, right? And I'm like, Dang, he keep on looking at me. So I tell my girl, he keep on looking at me. Like, why he keep on looking at me like this? So finally, he comes over and we start talking. I mean, we talked about everything. It just, I don't know. I just felt like, I always tell her this. I felt like her voice was a voice that I was just supposed to hear forever. I don't know if it's like the energy, the smell, well, you gotta whatever. say the moment, man. Okay, like, I'm sorry. Talk, okay. Oh, we talked about, I don't know, we talked so about So we just talked stuff. about everything. We talked about life. We talked about siblings. Yeah. It almost was like we were having a conversation and it felt like we'd just known each other forever. Mm -hmm. So we just vibed really well in that moment. And so we, um, we talked for like 20, 30 minutes, yeah. which is at a party is like a long time. Like yes. that is like an eternity. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we talked for a long time. You ended the night together. Yeah. And you know, your girl friends be like man come on, man, come on go. Man, let's go what are you dude, talking like, about man, come on you trying man. to buy your drink come we on. gotta go no he's trying to buy us drinks yeah exactly he's trying to buy us all drinks i'm like no i just started my life so <laughs> checkbook's so, not there yet bank account's not there yet. <laughs> for real so we were talking or whatever and at the end of the conversation this is what gets it and this is where everybody be like what end of the conversation he's like I know this sounds really crazy, but I think you're going to be my wife. And I was like, and I was like, <laughs> so I didn't, it was crazy because everyone always asked me, how did you feel in that exact moment? And I think when I look back on it, I have two older brothers, so I kind of was always, they always schooled me on the game of like guys and they always made me feel like, you know, like they always showed me the other side of what guys talked about when they were at home or around their boys and stuff like that. So I, I don't feel like I was super naive to guys, but with Issa, I just immediately felt comfortable, if that makes any sense. I didn't feel weirded out or sketched out or like my antennas didn't go up. And I think that's something I always think about. So I just felt super comfortable. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, interesting. That's because it's the first time she ever dealt with a man. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Reach on it, brother. No little boys Reach around here. Speak. Speak your truth. <laughs> anyway. But fine. But so fast forward to... Um, we date for like four years. We go, you know, through whatever it is we go through. We figure mm -hmm. it out and all this stuff like that. But we stayed together the whole time. Mm -hmm. We figured out what life was like. But anyway, fast forward to our wedding day, which was basically that fifth year, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Fast forward to our wedding day. Um, and his mother comes up to me and she's like, Lizzie, I just want to tell you that day that he met you, after he met you at the party, so after he told me that he felt like I was going to be the woman that he marries, 
he called her on his way home, which is, mind you, like 2 a.m. Because we're in New York and the club closes late and everybody gets late. home late and then they go yeah. out to eat. And I was like, so he calls her on the way home. Who remembers the kitchen in New York? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was a good place. Good place. My God. Um, and then he calls her on his way home and he's like, Mom, I met my wife. True Mike, story. Mike drop. Are we done? I mean, that's it. We could end this thing right now. Cut. <laughs> no, I heard that and I was like, you know, that's really special. So it was one of those. Now you see why maybe I compared it to the notebook. Maybe. maybe. It's just one of those love stories. I think that. No. Yeah, I think. Oh, look, no. I think. Maybe. that I think our story. If we die of together meeting, and you yeah, watch this. Exactly. I hope I get to 100. For real. Good, just 100. 60 years from now. Damn. Why are you doing that? Because 60 years from now would literally take us to like. Why are you doing that? What? I'm talking about my age. Oh, 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 you thought they thought you was younger than 30? Oh, we at least wow. 30. We at least wow. 30. See, that's spoken like a true model. There you go. Wow. Like, I'm that's young cool. forever. I'm young forever. That's cool. But how you know that's you could have cool. died at 80? How you could have been 20 right now and died at 80? 60 years. Whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> These are our arguments, <laughs> clearly. Anyway, I think that it speaks to one of those things that everyone out there, right? Like mm -hmm. when you really follow your gut and when you really feel that connection with someone, mm -hmm. no matter where they are in life, right? No matter if they are still grinding, no matter if they're super paid, no matter if they've accomplished all their goals or not, no matter if they're still working to who they, who they are going to become, you know, as long as you share the same values with someone, you share the same, um, the ideas of what you want to be and who you want to become and you feel like you can really grow with that person and you guys can really support and love each other fully mm -hmm. i think some of that's that's some of the biggest takeaway right mm -hmm. that i feel like we walked away from we really trusted in the fact that you know we met each other and we 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 really clicked yeah okay i'm just gonna round it up there i mean she went like Ooh. listen trust yourself yeah. And understand there's not going to be a lot of, it's going to be like this. Yeah, nothing's perfect. It's literally a decision you make every day. All right, you're talking Stick all with your, Anyway. Stick with your feelings. This is our story time. This is our love story. Story time. Yeah. It's my first and maybe my last, but I'm sure <laughs> she's not going to make it be my last. No, no, no. So, no. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All right, y'all. That's our story time. Do you need story time theme music? I don't know. Maybe. Really? Oh my sorry, god. Sorry, how about that? Like, no, sorry. And I sing Who doesn't rage? love that theme song? Oh my god. You can give yours away by yourself, okay, brother. Good. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> um, for joining us on our story time, our very first story time. Please make sure that you comment and like and subscribe. Hit those little buttons wherever they are, all around all over um and make sure you just kind of let us know make if you want to yeah for real just hit any button you see except for this button <laughs> for, for real don't hit that button yeah um and just let us know what you want to see more of and uh ask questions and we're happy to answer we really are excited to be a part of this community yeah we all are. right holla